Google searches for CMOS has dramatically increased over the last 10 years. Everybody wants to find out why CMOS is beneficial for them. On this video, I'm going to discuss four key benefits and also some concerns. So guys, if you want to learn more about CMOS, watch this video. Let's go. CMOS, also known as Irish moss, isn't actually a moss. Moss is those green little clump, dense flowerless plants you see at the bottom of damp places. It's not that. What it actually is, is a seaweed or algae, microalgae. Sea moss is a variety of the red algae. There's seven types in total. And for those who don't know what algae is, algae are a diverse group of aquatic organisms that have the ability to conduct photosynthesis. Fun fact, seaweeds are neither a plant, fungi, or animal. They have sometimes referred to as plant-like. One thing to point out before we dive into the depths of this video is that there's different species of seaweed that are all clamped under the umbrella of sea moss. And this leads to a lot of confusion within the industry. Some people saying some sea moss is real, some sea moss is fake. But two things that are good to understand is where the actual sea moss is grown. Is it from the Caribbean? Is it from the Atlantic Ocean? Where is it grown? Are the waters clean? And secondly, is it pool grown or wild crafted? That means is it caught in the wild or is it grown in some farm type of pool that has been man-made? Because where it's grown will actually affect the composition of the sea moss. I always opt for wild crafted. The two main types of sea moss that people buy are Gracilera and Crundus crippers. Within these types, there are varieties from color to structure, which makes them look similar and therein lies the confusion, but they contain similar properties. So I wouldn't really worry. Personally, as long as it's wild crafted, I own both. Drop a comment below if that has been beneficial to you and answered at least one of your questions so far. Historically, sea moss has been used to treat a wild variety of ailments from tuberculosis to pneumonia and this is dated as long ago as 1810. So sea moss has really been on the game for a while. During the potato farming in Ireland, it was used as a poverty food to nourish people and I think because of that, it was linked to, to poverty and people kind of forgot about this powerful wonder food, which means it was pretty much ignored until recent times. I think once Dr. Sabi started speaking about CMOS, it literally blew up and now everybody is on the CMOS hype. I'm very happy about that. I have some friends who've contacted me saying, oh, where do I get CMOS from? I want to get into CMOS. Look guys, take and enjoy the benefits. Everybody should win. You know how we do health is wealth. The first benefit is it helps with anemia. CMOS is very iron dense. It has about nine milligrams of iron per hundred grams, which is a lot more than other iron rich foods. For example, it has four times the amount of iron that lentils has, and it has nine times the amount of iron that chicken has. When people come to me and say they want to increase their iron intake, I do tell them to try CMOS. I tell them when they make the gel, to add some lemon water to the gel to increase the bioavailability of the iron. As you guys know, vitamin C helps with iron absorption. That's a quick key for you guys, drop a like. So for those lacking iron, CMOS is a major win, helping to maintain red blood cells and helping to maintain the hemoglobin count. This in turn promotes better immunity and also better brain health. So it's an all-round benefit of CMOS. Also, CMOS is rich in magnesium, manganese, calcium, phosphorus and zinc. And this leads me to my second benefit. CMOS is extremely nutrient dense. It's said that CMOS has 92 of the 102 minerals that the body is made from, which means CMOS is a ridiculous powerhouse of nutrients, including protein, beta carotene, B vitamins, pectins, vitamin C, sulfur. Additionally, CMOS is a good source of iodine. Did you know that 95% of patients suffering with thyroid disorders were shown to be lacking in iodine? And iodine is very important for your thyroid. And your thyroid is an extremely important organ that we need to look after. So CMOS is beneficial for that. For example, the thyroid gland produces hormones that regulate the body's metabolic rate, as well as the heart and digestive function, muscle control, brain development, mood and bone maintenance. Thyroid hormone signaling is required for muscle skeletal development and contractile 
function and muscle regeneration. So for the bodybuilding crew, the fat loss crew and the muscle gain crew, strength crew, benefiting your thyroid will benefit you and CMOS will benefit the thyroid. Not just from its iodine content, but it's also rich in precursors of the thyroid hormone, such as DIT and T4 and T3. Very, very beneficial. Another benefit for those trying to keep fit is CMOS is rich in taurine. It's actually the richest source of taurine out of all the other seaweeds. Taurine has the ability to make the body burn fat instead of carbs during cardio, helping you stay leaner. Look into it guys, extremely beneficial. But it's worth noting that one of the concerns of research papers on CMOS is the bioavailability of a lot of the nutrients within it. So far, it's hard to quantify. Though it's nutrient rich, it's hard to say how much of these nutrients can actually be utilized by the body. The third benefit is its immune system benefits and its respiratory health benefits. CMOS to start with has a very good amount of the antis. And for those who don't know what I mean by antis, I'm not talking about your, your mom's sister. What I am speaking about is anti-inflammatory, your anti-aging, your antibacterial, and also your antiviral. Our study also proposed this potentially shows anti-cancer and anti-tumor activities. So this is something you might want to look into too. Guys, I always put my research links in the description if you want to have a read, okay? In terms of the immune system, CMOS has been shown to help prevent and relieve symptoms of colds and flus. It can be used to prevent colds but also used to help you heal. For example, CMOS contains potassium chloride, which is both anti-inflammatory, which is helping the body heal and get rid of inflammation, but also expectorant, which means it helps rid the body of like mucus. The compounds within CMOS, some of which are antiviral, but also some of it are antimicrobial. So this will help boost your immunity and get rid of any infections. So CMOS, once you're ill, is a win. And CMOS, once you're well just to prevent any potential illnesses is a win 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 all around so guys it's winter time and it's a time where a lot of people tend to get ill this might be a time to get some cmos and put it in your cupboard the fourth benefit of cmos is energy a lot of people when they first try cmos one of the main things they say is they're getting a lot more energy they feel so much more energetic and they're also having better sleep. And one of the reasons for this is the iodine content we spoke about previously, but the iodine content can help boost the metabolism, which in turn will increase the amount of energy expended within the body so you feel more energetic. And this boost in metabolism also could benefit those trying to lose weight. So it's a win for weight loss too. CMOS is rich in potassium, and the body cannot conserve potassium, so it kind of requires it daily. Studies show that potassium can help with deeper sleep. Natural minerals such as calcium and potassium have been shown to have beneficial effects on the quality of sleep, and it also helps with mental health. These two things are rich within CMOS. So guys, we've spoke about four key benefits. In each category, we've also covered some micro benefits such as weight loss, such as your thyroid, and such as mental health even. But what are some of the concerns? One of the concerns that we touched on already quite briefly was potential issues in regards to bioavailability. This information just isn't known. So how much of the nutrients is being utilized by the cell we don't fully understand yet. And that's one of the concerns within these research papers. The second concern is the variation of the nutritional and functional composition within seaweed. So what that means is from the different areas it's grown to the different species, to the seasons, and even environmental factors, how much of this varies within different CMOS? How do you quantify that? And that is something that isn't well known. And because it's not known on a nutrient level, one of the concerns is on a toxin level, how much is actually getting into the CMOS. So in regards to that, one of the ways you can combat that is ensuring that you buy it from safe places. By that I mean, make sure you're getting it from reputable sources. Some of these sources should actually have some research done on the waters that the CMOS is growing in. And they can provide a small certificate that shows the, the toxins, potential toxins within the water and the composition of the actual CMOS. A bit harder to find, but it's possible. It depends how how strict you want to be. Now, obviously, there's a few places that I mentioned before that I would use their CMOS, such as Holistic Body from the UK and also a chemotherapy in America. 
I think is a good shout. But understanding the amount of toxins within the water, even down to heavy metals, is something that isn't well regulated and isn't well understood. So something that I would bear in mind. The last concern noted within one key research paper was how algae interacts with us internally. More research is required here. And those are the three main concerns. You might have read other stuff about some of the nutrients within CMOS, but if you process something and take one thing out, that one thing can be dangerous, but that doesn't mean the holistic nature is dangerous. CMOS is pretty safe. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video and it's beneficial to somebody. Get energized, get revitalized, health is worth, as I always say. Before you go, make sure you check out these two videos right here and right here. And if you want to get into herbs, click on my face and get my herb ebook. All right, guys, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.